I was working on an instrument data sheet when I came across these two interesting terms. The first term was something called a CMTR which stood for Certified Material Test Report and the other interesting term was something called as PMI which stood for Positive Material Identification. These two terms were very new to me. And I was wondering that what are these two terms and especially why are there two tests for checking the material? Why don't we just have the material certificate and why don't we just have PMI? What is the difference between these two things and when to use what? In this video, we look at an actual project case study and understand these terms. So we'll take an example of the relief valves. So we had to procure around a thousand relief valves and the material was something exotic, which was Hastelloy. For such a case, how would the production go forward for such a valve? As simple, it would go in the production unit. For the production unit, it would require certain raw materials. So for example, we'll get our raw materials. And when we get the raw materials, we come across the first term, which is CMTR, which stands for Certified Material Test Report, or in short form, it's called as Material Test Report. Now here, what it does is, Basically, when the raw material comes, we test is that the raw material certificate, is it the same alloy what we require for producing it? Now, once the raw material comes into our factories, we produce the entire process of melting it, smelting it, making it in that particular shape and molds that we want. And once the finished product is made, that is sent out, this finished product is again checked for the material what material has been used is the same material which was bought been used in the valve or some other material was used so for such case we have to go for pmi in that case now let's look a bit deep into cmtrr because it is even more further subdivided but before we get into cmtrr's division first we'll get into the concept which is when and who gives cmtrr so basically the material test report is given by the manufacturer of raw material to the manufacturer of valve so for example the valve has to uh, require hastelloy or ss316l for example so the vendor from whom the valve vendor is going to take they would ask them that give us particular grade of alloy so that raw material vendor would then give a certificate stating that they have given that particular grade only but the cmtr itself is divided into two things first is called as material certificate 3.1 and the second one is material certificate 3.2 but what's the difference between these two things we'll get into that but before that, if you're liking these videos, then please subscribe and especially press the bell icon so you can receive a new educational video every Saturday and it would also give me a boost to produce such videos in the future as well. So let us look into material certificate 3.1. What does it state? Its example is it's like the certificate which is produced by our own person. That means the raw material manufacturer's own person who was not part of the production would give that certificate so imagine there's a particular team which is set up to make the product and there's a, there's a person from the same company who is not part of the production can then inspect and give it that okay this particular uh, raw material meets this grade of stainless steel or hash alloy etc now material certificate 3.2 is a bit different here there's a third party which gets involved so there's a third party inspection which happens for material certificate 3.2 now as we are discussed in the process we are clear with cmtr now let's look into pmi and what does pmi actually mean and how can we understand when to use pmi so PMI in short and simple is basically a non-destructive method of testing a particular material composition. It's called as NDE in short, non-destructive method of testing. Now, when do you go for PMI? One of the bases is that when you go to piping material spec of a particular pipe, so if a pipe material requires PMI, then obviously the instrument department also has to take PMI in its consideration because piping material is taking it. So our instrument also needs to go through PMI, which is also called as PMS piping material spec as short form. So, but 
as a thumb rule you can also use is when your service is too corrosive too toxic or has special requirements and you need exotic materials so when you need such ems with you like we said in our example of hash alloy or stainless steel other materials then usually clients go with pmi for identification so that they are sure that the material which they have specified is given by the vendor now if you would notice pmi in this case is it greater than cmtrr or material certificate let's look into it yes with respect to the cost pmi is far more costlier than the material certificate so for such a case sometimes there is a special consideration which is made that is that sometimes only a percentage of a lot is only checked in terms of pmi especially for bulk items so for example if you have studs and bolts and such cases which are two bulk items you might go for just checking the 10% of the lot so from the entire lot only a small chunk of material is checked so only 10% at random is checked for such cases and there's a free gift for you Before that if you're liking this videos then please consider subscribing and especially press the bell icon so you can receive a new educational video every Saturday I've written a free ebook on engineering standards it's completely free on PIP instrumentation standards it is one of the most simple short standards with around 1 2 or 10 to 20 pages at max it's very well segregated for example hookups or uh, data sheets or design bases all of these things are separate standard documents so you can get to depth of any single parameter that you want and the best thing is that in these things there are very less technical jargons which are used they are very simple english so it's easier to understand the standards so this is a very good stepping stone if you are interested in learning instrumentation standards almost 1500 plus engineers have found it valuable from companies like shell dupont technep voli etc so i think you would find this ebook valuable the link is given in the description below and if you have any doubt or you have any concern we can have a technical discussion in the comment section below or on into my blog or linkedin anywhere where you are comfortable with i would love to have a technical discussion with you i hope you found this video valuable and have a great day ahead thank you